everyone. This is going to be a, a little bit of a quick video here for another do-it-yourself for a moment. Alright, so what we're looking at here, this is a Motorola XPR 4550. This is a Motorola Max track. Um, if you see that, even the GM 300s kind of look the same. Shine some light on it. This is a SM50 Radius SM50 Max Track 4500. This would pretty much go the same for um, the CDMs, the G, the M's. Uh, the GR25, uh, 1225 repeaters, it's pretty much all the same stuff. Um, the backs are what you're needing. Look at that, there's a 16 pin connector. Let's see here. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you don't know how to already program these things. 16 pin connector. And then this one, if you look in the middle of it, there's actually a spot where you could use the 16 pins in the middle. So if you got yourself any kind of Motorola, pretty much mobile unit, um, and a power supply, and the ability to program them, your simple basic setup, nice and easy, very cheap. All you would need is this. These two things, power supply. Sorry, I shouldn't say two things. I guess I'm, I missed some of the concepts. So you need an SD card. You need a way to power this. Then you have the rim max track from Repeater Builder. The link is on the GMRS Linked Networks website. Along with a Raspberry Pi. Any of the Raspberry Pis, two or newer, would work. Not recommended the four. It's definitely overkill. Um, you load the software onto the SD card, put it in there, plug this thing right into the back, and I actually have uh, a picture on the group for uh, the SM50s, so don't even quote me. But if you notice on the GM 300s, let's see. GM 300s or the Max Tracks or whatever won't plug in this way. They can only go that way. So you plug it into the back of the radio. The pin 8s need to be set to this to the uh, be able to detect the PL tone. Uh, CQS, I think, is what it is. Detect in the software set to low. Um, same for these. Um, but it pretty much is as simple as plugging in to the 16 pin connector. I mean, if you got a base station already laying around not doing anything, or one of the radios, da boom, there you go. Um, now you've got yourself a, a high powered simplex node. Um, like I say, you got to have power to the radio, you got to have some sort of antenna. I don't care if you throw it on a cookie sheet, your range doesn't need to be that far. Um, that goes for all of these radios. Um, that, this is what you need to, if you have any uh, Motorola's with the 16 pin or 25. It's the Rim Max Track from Repeater Builder. The link is on the website. It won't zoom in. But, uh, there, kind of, sort of. You need this, and then you need the Pi, and at least a 16 gig SD card. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Check out GMRS.network for uh, the websites.